Hello everyone. If you want to review past trades to refine and improve trading strategies, then using a forex trading journal is the best option for you. By recording details of each trade, traders can analyze the effectiveness of their trading strategies and identify patterns of success and failure. Moreover, it can be used to analyze market condition, risk management, and tax reporting. So, this is Jihad Rianjim from Excel Demi, and today we'll learn two methods on how to create a forex trading journal in Excel. Let's talk about what is forex trading. Forex trading is the marketplace where national currencies of different countries are exchanged. There are lots of websites that can provide you with foreign exchange data, but you can have your own journal by using Microsoft Excel. For this tutorial, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have the dates, pair, long or short, size, entry, stop loss, profit, and risk or reward in column B to column I. Here we have the initial balance and highest balance in the D4 and D5 cell. In our first method, we'll be using a simple Excel sheet to create a Forex trading journal. At first, we need to enter the proper pair of currency exchange options in the column C pair. Select the C8 cell, go for data tab. In the data tools, select data validation to open data validation dialog box. In the settings section, you'll find allow as we are trying to get a drop down list. So you'll select list here. In the source, you need to insert the proper currency exchange options. Here we have Euro to USD option. So write it. Next we have GBP which is the British Pound Sterling to USD. So write down USD here. Then we have USD to Euro and lastly we have USD to GBP. After having all the proper options in the source, if you click OK, then you will find the drop down list here. Click on the drop down list and see everything is working properly or not. To get the same kind of drop down list for every cells of column C, then use the fill handle tool and create the drop down list for every option cells. Now you can choose the pair in the current date according to your need. Suppose at first we need to get Euro to USD, so I'll select it. In the next section, you'll go for USD to Euro, select it, and you need to fulfill it in every way. After choosing proper pair, the whole C column will look like this. Now, go for the column D and make a drop down list again, but this time for long and short. Now, we'll again select the D8 cell, go for the data tab, and in the data tools, we'll select data validation, and in the settings, we'll go for the list again to create a drop down list, and as source, now we'll go for long, and second will be short. Press OK to get the drop down list here. Use the fill handle option to get the same drop down for every cell. Select the proper long or short option according to your wish. So at first, we'll go for the E8 cell and insert the size 0.05. And next, we have entry, which will be 1.2200. And next, we have stop loss, which will be 1.2150. And after that, the profit will be 1.23. And so we have inserted the first value of size, entry, stop loss and profit. We need to do the same for the rest of the cells also. After inserting every data from the data source, the whole data will look like this. Now we can go for the column I to get the risk or reward. 
we need to determine the risk by reward ratio which will give us the proper idea of winning or losing a risk in the foreign exchange. To go for the I8 cell and insert the if function to set a proper condition as risk by reward ratio depends on long or short so select the D8 cell if it is empty then the value will be showing nothing so write down nothing in the double quotation of value if true section but if it is false then we need to calculate the risk divided by reward ratio so at first we need to get the risk which is h8 profit minus f8 entry so we have determined the risk here now we need to divide it with reward so we'll go for the f8 entry minus g8 stop loss if we click the enter button then we'll get our perfect risk by reward ratio use the fill handle option to get the risk by reward ratio for every cell so let's talk about what does this risk by reward ratio means if the risk by reward ratio is higher in a forex journal it generally means that the trade has the potential for a larger profit compared to its potential loss this can indicate that the trade aligns with the trader's strategy of seeking higher reward opportunities while managing the risk so this is how we can easily create a forex trading journal with the help of a simple excel sheet In our second method, we'll be using Excel table to create a forex trading journal. At first, we need to follow the same steps as the previous method. We'll create the drop down list here in the C8 cell. So we'll go for the data tab and in the data tools, we'll go for the data validation. And in the settings section, we'll again go for the allow and select list to create the drop down list. Then again, we need to go for the proper source here. After entering the proper options of the source, we'll click OK to create the proper drop-down list here. After that, we'll use the fill handle option to get the same thing for every cell of the column C. Now, we'll change the cell and select the value according to our wish. After entering every data, the pair column will look like this. Let's go for the column D to insert the long bar short drop-down here. So, we'll select the D8 cell. Go for the data tab in the data tools we'll go for the data validation to open the data validation dialog box now in the settings section go for the allow and select list and in the source section insert long and short as the option of this drop down click ok to get the drop down list here use the fill handle again to get the drop down for every cell of the column d now select the values according to your wish after selecting long and short for every date the whole column will look like this now you need to enter the size entry stop loss and profit from the data source like the previous method we have inserted size entry stop loss and profit from our data source now unlike the previous method we need to create a table here so we'll press ctrl plus a to select the data area now select the insert tab and go for the table to create the table or press ctrl plus t in the keyboard to create the table here now you'll find create table dialog box tick on my table has headers and click ok to create the table you can easily select the headers go for the home tab and change the color of the text to show it perfectly you can also increase the column width to show it perfectly for the audience now to determine risk by reward ratio we need to go for the i8 cell and insert the if function to get the proper condition at first in the logical test as the ratio depends on the long or short so I'll select d8 cell in the long by short form if it is equal to empty then it will show an empty result so we'll write down nothing in our value if true double quotation but if it is false then we need to insert risk by reward ratio now to get the risk by reward ratio we need to enter the profit minus 
entry of the risk option divided with the F8 entry minus G8 stop loss. Press the enter button to get the perfect result for everything. You don't need to use the fill handle because the table will automatically insert the formula to every cell of this column. So that's how we can easily use Excel table to create Forex trading journal in Excel. That's it for today. You can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. Thanks for watching our video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.